If you want to learn how to make custom thumbnails in 2018 and beyond, stick around because I'm going to show you how I make my thumbnails in TubeBuddy. <laughs> Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and I am here to help you build a foundation for YouTube success. So I've received a lot of positive feedback on my thumbnails, so today I wanted to share with you how I make each and every thumbnail using TubeBuddy. Let's get started. Alright, so today I want to show you how to make thumbnails using TubeBuddy and the TubeBuddy Create Thumbnail feature. Uh, within the plugin allows you to create custom thumbnails right within the workflow of getting your video uploaded and set up and ready to publish. So when you are on the edit video screen that you see here uh, below the, the thumbnail options that YouTube provides you by default, you have this button provided that you have TubeBuddy uh, installed, which I highly recommend you grab that and get it installed. Uh, and you click on the create thumbnail button. Now TubeBuddy's thumbnail generator is going to give you three options. You have the option to grab an image from the video itself. Uh, depending on the video, you may want to grab a still print and use it as the basis of your thumbnail. Also, you can just choose a solid background color. You simply pick a color and select that and that'll be the background. But what I like to do is use an image, gives it a little bit of a uh, um, depth and texture and provides a little more uh, engagement in that. So what I actually do is I've uploaded this blue carbon fiber background and that's what I use for all of my th thumbnails currently. So I have that saved in there each time I come in I don't have to re-upload it it's there and ready to go and I simply click on it and then hit continue. And that gives me basically the backdrop for every one of the thumbnails that I do. The other thing that I've done is I have saved a few images uh, that have been cut out and you can I can show you how to do that in a different video um, But basically once you have uh, Your different images uploaded if you want to upload a new one you can actually hit choose file go in find a file and uh, Save that in here and again, these are all going to stay here So each time you come in it's as easy as grabbing one of the images you've uploaded uh, You can click on it and drag it around there's little squares at the end you can resize it and then you basically want to arrange your thumbnail. Now the way I like to do it, I like to put my face on the right hand side, text on the left hand side, keeps the text away from the uh, timestamp print that can show up here. And uh, uh, I usually like to try to fill as much space as possible top to bottom. So I'll usually adjust this a little bit and see what looks good. I, and I'll start by putting myself as far to the right as possible. And then I will look at the text. In this case, uh, let's do awesome thumbnails. So first thing I do is click on text. You'll see there's a drop down of options. Now the free version I think is going to give you maybe four or five different text options. The one that I actually use for my thumbnails is available I believe on the pro level and above and that's luckiest guy. I just like the way it looks. I think it fits my personality and I, I think it's my own unique way of displaying my brand. So then you want to pick a color that's in high contrast to the background when I'm doing a color without any kind of uh, background bar to offset it. I like yellow on this blue. I think it pops a bit. And then what I will do is we'll type uh, awesome and that appears there. When you first click add you'll see it appears over here. You can click and drag on it. And some of the other features that it has inc includes a back, uh, black or a white outline. As you can see, it'll outline the text when you click on it. And once you've outlined it, you can also hit bold and kind of thicken that up. And to me, I think that just kind of makes it pop a little bit more. And then there's this little stem that comes from the top of the box that allows you to rotate the element. And, you know, depending on what you're doing here, maybe we'll give it a little bit of a tilt make it interesting to the eye and pop that up there. And then uh, we're going to do um, thumbnails. So what do we want to do? Uh, one of the ways that you can contrast your text is by putting a solid shape or, or block or box behind it. Uh, a lot. Of, one of the ways that I will do that is I'll select the square in red and I will grab a red box. And again, there's little bars that allows you to resize it and then angle it with the little stem. So I'll throw something like that there and then I want to throw some text on it. I found that red and white tend to go good together. Um, so 
I will go in here and select my color to white, hit choose, keep lucky as guy, make sure my black border and bold should still be on there, and there you have it. Now you can see that this doesn't quite fit in my box, so what I can do is grab the little corner, resize that a little bit, uh, get that where I want it, and kind of resize that to fit the box. Give it a little bit of space, and then I can click on the box and actually resize that to go around the text. So you definitely want to uh, play around with what looks good in terms of contrast colors, but how easy was that to put together an engaging thumbnail consistent with all your other thumbnails because you basically create some of the elements once, you throw them into the TubeBuddy system, and uh, they're there every time you upload a video. It's super handy. Uh, next thing you would do is click continue and it shows you a small version of the thumbnail which is super critical in understanding that your text and the overall look of your thumbnail uh, still pops when it's small and still avail or visible to somebody who may be looking at a mobile device or scrolling through you know the main page quickly you want to make sure that it's easy to read and it captures the audience's attention uh, in relative short order and people can actually see what it says so then you would simply do save and publish obviously this is a video that I already have one on so I'll hit cancel but it's as simple as that if we look at my videos you'll see all of these videos have been made using the TubeBuddy thumbnail tool it allows me to keep them consistent it allows me to keep my brand intact and everybody uh, can recognize my content uh, based on those thumbnails which is super important and uh, even more so is the ability to save a ton of time and money by getting this as part of your workflow each time you upload a video and you can't speak enough about how much time it saves you to have the thumbnail process integrated right on YouTube that is the TubeBuddy thumbnail generator it's an awesome tool and I highly recommend it and you can definitely use that tool with the free version of TubeBuddy you know some of the cooler fonts that are available are available at the pro level and above rather than send you out there to buy the uh, pro version on your own I will put a 20% off promo code in the description below you simply use Dan's buddy when you click on the link below to sign up for TubeBuddy and that will get you 20% off I definitely recommend you try it and check it out I think once you do you'll be hooked I hope you found this video helpful and a special thanks to TubeBuddy for sponsoring this video. If you would like to continue to build a foundation for YouTube success, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you click that bell notification icon and let's get started on growing your channel. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.